What have you brought me here for, human? Welcome to the first Mark Creation Studios Q&A, where we answer questions from fans and pretend like we are all on the same side. Enjoy your precious time in which I am not attacking Autobot. Hey, what the hell do you want? If there's already so many others here, why do I have to be here? Uh, let's get this over with. Josiah Davis asks, Are you gonna do any more projects? Like if you do one about Cybertron, or what happened after Transformers 4, Age of Extinction? Yes. After the end of Project Nemesis, we will proceed to make a prequel series. And of course, it shall take place on Cybertron. <laughs> and why would we make a stop motion of what happened after the fourth Transformers movie? Yeah, I mean, a lot of other people do it too, so let's be a little different here, people. And like a lot of others, we actually have the ability to be original! <laughs> Not only that, but TF4 made me a Japanese stereotype. I hate it. Oh, it was an utter train wreck. To call it a Transformers film is a mere insult. Next question, please. Ryan Lifesword asks, I know you told me this before, but why did you kill off Bumblebee in one of the episodes? No one likes that, because there are rumors that Bumblebee never dies. <sighs> Because I wanted to. And besides, he had something I wanted. He was in my way of getting it. Just one more fallen individual to my blade. <laughs> no comments. And I'm just sitting here wondering why I didn't get to kill him. Hell, it would have been a lot more interesting. I would have been enjoyable. Ryan Lifesword asks, How many episodes total is in Season 3, Project Nemesis? How, how am I supposed to know? No one tells me anything! That will be 10 in total, plus an epilogue story leading to the prequel series. I don't give a damn. So long as I never hear an interesting question about Bumblebee again, we're good. Extra Emeralds asks, What is your favorite stop-motion episode you have made so far? Ha! Oh, easily. The one where I killed Bumblebee. It was a glorious episode. Easily for me it would be the one where Iron Knight is badly injured and Bludge and I have encountered one another for the first time in decades. And it felt good to meet an opponent that actually is challenging for once. Is it just me? Or is it always every single damn episode 5 gets all the praise? <laughs> like it's intentionally set up that way! Well, I'm gonna break the norm and say episode 10 is the best! Yeah, um, let's not jump to conclusions just yet, guys. Are we just going to sit here and ask what we like, or are we going to move on to something more relevant and important? You're wasting my time. Nacho Prime 360 asks, Hey, first off, I love your series, and I think you deserve a lot more subs. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. I order you to sub now, or there shall be miserable agony enlisted upon the lot of you. More subscribers! <laughs> Hey, we're just glad that people like this stuff. You know, it's hard work. Nacho Prime 360 asks, What do you think of the Transformers The Last Night toy line? Would you ever buy any of them? Oh, hell no! I mean, we suck ball! I've actually been considering turning Megatron into that new Last Night Leader Class figure, coming out as an upgrade for the series. Unfortunately, we own the new Barricade. Uh, yeah, and it was a total piece of crap! Waste the money! <laughs> Even my tools aren't good enough to fix that piece of junk. It is a shame. The poor toy could have had so much potential. Not all toys are as good as us bludgeon. Keep that in mind. Yeah, that piece of trash is terrible. I mean, it has a shell on its back, the entire roof of the damn car. Don't any of you actually remember the old days where Transformers actually friggin' transformed? This question is boring. Move on. Nacho Prime 360 asks, Is there any chance for dead characters to be brought back to life in your series? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Whenever someone comes back after they disappeared and were thought dead, they just come back. But no one ever comes back to life. That's called being dead. It seems there's been an exception to this rule. 
I recall the Autobot Jazz perishing much earlier on in the franchise, yet he returns once more. Dude, he never did. We just clarified that in Project Nemesis Episode 3. Yeah, like why well, did this really cool thing where I slowed down time? Does anyone pay attention anymore? Oh crap! What? You were lying when you told Megatron and Galvatron, didn't you? You never even slowed down time. Oh, yeah, bro, that's way too damn overpowered for anyone to have. Oh, what's the matter? Cat got your tongue, Shocky! Call me that one more time, and you will die, I swear it. Oh, repressed anger much? I think someone's triggered! Next question, now. Brett Stedman asks, what was the first Transformers series that got you into the Transformers franchise? The very first movie, you know, the one that has all the Cybertronians appear with actual names and characteristics. They sort of stopped doing that in the sequels. TFX Productions has been Mark's biggest inspiration. No, we're his biggest inspiration, dumbass! No, TFX was. No, us! TFX, us! TFX, us! TFX, us! TFX, us! TFX, us! Oh, this is gonna be such a long video. If you might just stay in one piece, I suggest we proceed to the next question now. Ricky asks, what is your favorite line of toy figures? Movie lines all the way! He usually collects classic figures. He sure likes TF Prime and animated figures though. Yeah, we'll add the Revenge of the Fallen. Hasbro got all lazy and started producing crappy toys after that. But hey, I was part of that first nine toys. So, why the hell is no one by me? Because, look, you ain't nothing in the movie like me, dude. Yeah, but at least I have hands. Ooh, burn, baby. You just got served. Well, at least I in Voyage, you size. You got stuck as deluxe size, puny! <laughs> so, I can kick your ass any day of the week, son! Enough of this useless babbling. It's under my nerves. Derek Woods asks, Will you be doing spin-offs in the future? Oh, uh, you mean spin-off like this? <laughs> he means other stop motions that are connected to Project Nemesis, you retard! If yeah. well, I don't think I are you right! Guys! Shut up and get on with the damn quiz already! Come on! Derek Woods asks, When will the casting call results be in? I may be mistaken, but I believe we just answered that question for you. Next! Ethgon Zaboom Production asks, Why did you kill off Bumblebee? Here we go again. I'll kill you! I'll kill the whole lot of you! I'll kill you all! Alright, gonna be completely honest here. We did it so that the plot could progress as well as the development of the main characters, you know, RC Cup, Drift, and most importantly, Cliff Jumper. There, yeah, you happy now? And we also did it because dumb is what I hate Bumblebee. Oh, come on! You mean to tell me I ain't a main character? Imbecile! You are nothing more than a side character. What? You are merely an expendable meat shield, Autobot scum. No! 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 Robots in Disguise Productions asks, How many seasons do you plan to have? Well, there's four seasons in a year, so... Uh... Yeah, I totally forgot where I was going with this one. One million! That is undetermined at the moment. Perhaps in the future we shall have an answer. Damn quiz. No. Thank you. Robots in Disguise Productions asks, Will Galvatron eventually take command of the Decepticons in Megatron's absence? For example, Megatron dies or leaves for a long time. Nonsense. Galvatron is one of the most loyal Decepticons of all time. Or is he? That's the question. Besides, we ain't giving any of you spoilers, so quit asking for them. Robots in Disguise Productions asks, Is Unicron going to make an appearance in your series? What the hell did I just say? Moving on. Moving right along. Robots in Disguise Productions asks, 
Will Cyclonus and Scourge, along with the Sweeps, appear later in the series? Uh, who the hell is Scourge? And what are Sweeps? Cyclonus might appear later in the series. As for the Sweeps, well, we have no interest in them at the moment. Next! Last question, then I'm gone. This one better be good. Sideswipe3924 asks, Why did you kill off Bumblebee? That's it! <laughs> Stop asking so many damn questions about Bumblebee! We can do whatever the living hell we want! He's dead! Get your story! I don't have time for this. Later on, suckers. Oh, you've wasted my time long enough, humans. Now if you'll excuse me, I have something more interesting to do. <laughs> well, thank you everyone for watching, and stay tuned for more episodes in the future. Yeah, looks like we got more waiting to do for more episodes. Hopefully it'll be worth it. Alright. The treaty's over. Time to die now. <laughs>